Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Have you ever figured out why your joints hurt when you have a cold, a cough, a fever, or a viral flu? And then we go to doctors and we get antibiotics, which is okay sometimes, but antibiotics don't really work on viruses. They work more on, you know, bacteria. But for you to understand the pain that you get is completely normal. You see, uh, whenever you have an infection or a viral, your body produces white blood cells. White blood cells is your immunity producing these cells to help fight out the infection. Now, your joints and your muscles are basically repaired by white blood cells all the time. White blood cells help your mu muscle tissues regenerate. So, and your, your muscle tissues around your joints especially need regeneration all the time because that's what we use whenever we walk, whenever we run, we exercise, our daily movement cause these minute tears and wear and tear of your muscle fibers around your joints. So they're constantly being repaired by your white blood cells. Now every time you get a viral or a cold or a fever or a cough, your body diverts these white blood cells away from your joints and your muscle tissues to fight out the infection. So now all of a sudden, <clears throat> there are these little aches and pains that we feel because that regeneration and that repair is not happening. These are for the smaller and less intense aches and pains. Now there's another reason why we have major aches and pains when we have virals. It's because your WBCs, which are your white blood cells, also produce something called cytokines. Now cytokines basically cause inflammation in your joint areas and that's exactly why we have pain. Now cytokines are required to fight the viral and fight the infection as well. But the side effect of your immunity working is a little bit of joint pain because of the inflammation it produces. So the best way to handle these aches and pains is of course not taking painkillers because that's going to do more damage to you unless you really, really need it. But you have to understand that your immunity is working to heal you. So when those joints, you know, when those joints start aching more and those pains increase, you can be sure that your body is actually in the healing process. So what you do, you do everything to support your immunity to make the process get complete quicker. So like, you know, you start eating your fruits, your veggies, you increase your water intake and you rest because you want to do less wear and tear to those muscle tissues so that it doesn't get inflamed and your white blood cells continue, continue doing the job of actually fighting out the viral. So you rest, you use an oil to massage the aching areas, you add fruits and vegetables to your diet, you increase your water intake, and like I said, you rest, rest, and rest, and try to m minimize all of the antibiotics and all the painkillers which will actually further produce inflammation in the long, long run. Keep your gut clean by eating healthy and making sure that your bowel movement is working fine. And that's exactly how you boost immunity and that's the reason why you have aches and pains every time you fight a viral. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right and breathe deep.